Thousands of North Koreans are found in China, then repatriated back to North Korea, where they are tortured, imprisoned, or publicly executed. Mr. President Obama, Congressman, Congresswoman, would you allow this malice happening in North Korea to happen in America? Do you allow this in the land of the free? Where am I, a fellow blood-related sister of these poor children, when they are starving and striving for just a fraction of the freedom that I take for granted? And where are you, and what are you trying to do to help ease their suffering? You and I were only fortunate enough to be born into an American family. Yet, what if we were born as North Korean orphans? Imagine having to scavenge the streets for just a crumb of food, lying alongside a sibling with hunger pains so sharp they leave you they leave you numb, or seeing uh, loved ones fall in me and end their suffering by dying. It's tragic that the North Koreans have to hide their identities and struggle so hard just to survive, only to find comfort in hoping there will be a tomorrow. While this is happening across the world, how is it that we can only stand back and watch? The time has finally come for us as a nation to speak on behalf of the voiceless. While North Koreans travel thousands of miles on the perilous path to freedom, my fellow KCC interns and I have traveled 3,000 miles, incomparable to that traveled by the refugees, asking for a small step toward helping those with no choice, no voice, and no freedom. Together, we can make ma major changes in the legislature, and together, we must pass the North Korea Enfor uh, Sanctions Enforcement Act of 2013. We truly do, do believe that every person involved matters, but most importantly, every voice can make a significant difference. Thank you. Thank you.